Now let's see how to encrypt and decrypt a file with PGP keys with PGP key pair, public key and private key via Java application. Let's go ahead and create a demonstration project. Now let's add two dependencies to palm.xml. You can enable auto reload from Maven tab. Click on settings, auto reload, any changes. What happens with this whenever you add something to pom.xml, it will resolve everything by itself. You don't have to make update Maven. So let's close pom.xml. And let's create a package called services. And all our, all our code goes in here. For reference, let's Google something. For encryption and decryption purposes, we have a Java library called Bouncy Castle. So we call it as Bouncy Castle Java. So B hyphen Java is the actual library. So if we can go to GitHub repo, click on first link. And what we want to focus is PG, source, main, and there are different editions out of which we want to focus on Java or Bouncy Castle. And open PGP is the one that encrypts and decrypts. So let's open this in a new tab. Out of which examples has the classes what we want. We want to focus on this class key based file processor. Let's open this file, copy its contents and paste it to our project. So right click, paste. Once it gets resolved, and you can see three different red marks here, which means they are the issues, compilation issues. When you open that, you can see that PGP example util is missing. So let's go ahead and copy that class as well. I'm on Git repo. Let's go back to examples and let's open PGP example util, copy, it cont copy its content and paste it in our code. So right click and paste. To paste it, go back to key based file processor. You can see all issues getting resolved. Let's collapse all these things. We have different methods for different purposes. We have first method as decrypt file under key based file processor. Let's open this. It is calling decrypt file again. So this method is this one. So as it accepts input stream, let me rename this to decrypt file with stream. And I'm going to use same here. Similarly, we have encrypt, which is calling encrypt file method. As it's accepting output stream, I'm going to name it as encrypt file with stream and copy this here. So basic stuff is done. Here, the last main method has a public access modifier. I'm going to make it private because I don't want to use it outside this class. But what are the things that we want to use from key based file processor that is encryption and decryption. So decrypt file is what we want to use. So let's make it public. Similarly, encrypt file is what we want to use. And let's make it public as well. Now let's go to PGP demo application. And I want you to observe that these are static methods. So we can directly access these methods with class name. Let's go to PGP demo application and implement command line runner. Command line runner is used to put any code to run during application startup. So what are the statements executed you want here, right? Statements to be executed here will be executed at application startup. So I'm going to use key based file processor coming from com example PGP demo services. Remember, it should not come from actual library because we made some modifications. So we want to use our own class dot encrypt. So it is accepting output file as a string, string input file, string encryption key file name boolean armor and boolean with integrity check so first of all let's declare all these things before we pass it so here we put three things and it is also accepting enc key file name it is enc key file name and then two booleans at the end will come to that later so for first of all the output file name so whenever you use encrypt file method it is going to generate an encrypted 
content and it will write to a file that we mention. So what is that file? I'm going to create it now. Let's go to resources and I can put any directory. For example, this is output. So I'm going to put output as a directory and I'm going to use sample.pgp cause this is because whenever encrypt file is done with its job, it is going to expose or it is going to spit out uh, encrypted message which is called pgp message so that is the reason i'm saving it in pgp file let's go back to pgp demo application so now let me bring this file into my class how can i bring a file from class path src main resources is nothing but the class path how can i bring it i bring that file from class path to my class that is using resource class resource and that can be a resource and i can annotate this with value annotation as it's coming from class path i'll put it class path here and right click on it and you can copy path and path from source root and paste it here remember you should not have any space after class path so let me rename this outsource as i mean resource as output resource so now what i can do is i can assign this output resource dot get file dot to path dot to string to this output file name this will give the complete directory along with path of the output file so this is what i'm going to pass into this method similarly we also want to pass input file which means we have to provide an input file i'm going to create a directory called files and i'm going to give an input file which is sample.txt and i have to put a message in here for encryption so this is a test message so this is the message i want my application to encrypt so i save this message into a file called sample.txt and put it under files now let's be get back to pgp demo application now we have to bring this file into my class using same annotation so instead of output this time i'm trying to get a file from files folder under class path class path this class path is nothing but src main resources so it'll automatically resolve by itself as this is a input file i'll put this as input resource similarly i can assign this input resource So this is what I'm going to pass as input file name. Again, this will completely resolve the along resolve the file name along with the path. That is what I want to pass here. And the third thing is encryption key file name. This is nothing but the public key. So I'll just name it as public key name or public key file name just for convention. Now I have to pass public key file name into this one. But do I have public keys? No. So let me go ahead and import my public keys into my project so let me create a new folder called keys and i'm going to paste this is my private key and if i expand this this is my public key so i've got both my keys under my uh, keys directory under class path now i have to bring this like output and input resource how can i bring these both I'll just copy paste these things and change names accordingly. So we are ready with public and private key as well. See, but, but here to encrypt file, we are supposed to pass a public key. The reason is because we are, we'll make use of public key to encrypt any message and we'll make use of private key to decrypt any message. So as we are, dealing with encryption right now i'll just pass public key file name here In, this includes whole path along with the directory and then the next thing is i have to pass a boolean armor let's make it true and with integrity check yes i want integrity check so let's make it true so let's put some log statements
So we are ready with logs as well. So let's go ahead and run this. So it clearly says that file sample.txt cannot be resolved to in URL. So let's see what happens here. This is because sample.txt file is under files folder, not under file directory. So I have to make it files and rerun this application once again. Now we got another issue. Let's scroll up and see. It says exception constructing public key and no such provider bc bc is bouncy castle it says that bc there is no such provider called bc here that's what it's complaining about so let's google this so it clearly says that sometimes this bc provider will not be available so we are supposed to add the static context or add this dependency. So let's try to add this dependency first and then we'll try this. Looks like we already have the dependency available. So let me add the static block like shown in Google. So let me copy this and add this under here. Key based file processor. That's it. So let me go back to PGP demo application and rerun this application once again. It's done. So our output file is, let's go to our output file and what is our output file? It is sample.pgp. However, it will not be available under a regular output sample.pgp. It's not under class part, right? All the encrypted files will be under target folder. So expand targets, classes, and this is what the class path is because all your classes go here. This is called the class path after execution. So open output and sample.pgp. If you double click it, you should see a PGP message inside. Cool. It was generated. Therefore, encryption is done. 